Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to use fade in and fade out in video track. The fade in and fade out in video stream simply means to change the opacity level of selected images. For that purpose the power director already implemented an adjustment slider directly on the on the video. I'm going to working on three video clips. These are underwater clips and uh, I will create at the beginning between two clips and at the end of the last video clip the fade in and fade out effect. I create more room for the demonstration process to see what's happening uh, when we create a fade in and fade out effect. The first thing when we select this, this first clip and uh, click on uh, right mouse button there is a menu select the edit video option and enable fade in and fade out in this way as you can see the start and the end position is changed the opacity level i don't know why but when i click select all these clips where i want to apply the fade in and fade out effect and select the edit video there is uh, enable fade in and fade out uh, menu option is disabled so we must select all these clips separately and enable the fade in and fade out effect on in on each video video clip you look at this uh, graph it is nicely uh, displaying how the opacity level will be changed during the video playback these are the fade in and fade out levels of course it is possible to change the duration of the fade in or fade out effect if you click on this dot here you can select it and it is possible to change the duration in this way fade in effect and release it or we can change also the opacity level too the same of course for fade out and if it's not enough, we can add another uh, keyframes here by pressing Ctrl and click. We can add extra points and set the opacity level at the place where we want to use some extra features like this one. And play it how it look now the opacity level is lower and back again and the fade out very nice if some keyframe is not necessary it is enough to hold the control key and remove the this keyframe into if you decide to not use such a, a setting for opacity level and want to revert back these changes not uh, necessary to remove all these keyframes but it's possibly to write with right clicking in edit video session and invoke the restore the original opacity level and it will be uh, restore the original opacity level interesting that in this case we can uh, use all these video tracks and this uh, menu item will be available to restore the original opacity level this video is so short because it's so easy to set up the fade in and fade out effect on a video clip so thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time bye